everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here and I hope you're all doing great even if we live in very troubling and turbulent times for the moment. Today's video will be a highlight video for the country of Iran and before I do uh, this reading I just need to give some info uh, about different uh, things that happens uh, in this channel. First of all, I must thank you all wonderful viewers for all of your support to this channel, for your comments, for your sharing, for your caring, for your coffees, for everything you do. It is extremely helpful and it gives a lot of strength to continue doing more videos. I also must give some warning words um, for scam attempts to this channel. Uh, I uh, don't have any Facebook uh, account for Tarot by Isabella. I don't do any personal readings and uh, I don't contact you first in any way. These are all scammers. So please, in case you should be contacted by someone or if you find uh, something that looks like my channel here on YouTube with my profile photo, then it's not me this are scammers and also in the comment sec section below i uh, never ask you to send me anything i never uh, ask you for any favors any money and i don't do personal readings remember that and for uh, the telegram group there are a lot of questions in the telegram group please if you make any posts uh, do those posts in english you can have the post in another language, but please have a, a small title that describes what the post is about. And if it's on a video and it is English speaking video, you can have um, uh, also other languages as subtitles. Or if it's a video in another language, please make it sh sure that it has English subtitles. This is because we are an in international group and the information that is put out there should be available for everybody and um, in this group well it's more like a news group so we pub, uh, post things that happens around the world uh, we can give uh, some tips some spiritual spirituality sometimes I also answer some of the members questions in a short reading uh, when I explained the cards and things like that and uh, the correct link to uh, the Telegram group, you will find it below in the description. In the description, you will also find uh, my Rumble channel link and the correct email address to me. If anyone contacts you, even if it's with my profile photo and uh, the information differs from what is down in the description or below my profile photo in this channel, the, the number there, and then it's not me. Block, ban, then it's scammers. Well, that was a little bit about the information. I think it's important to pass this. I don't like any one of you to get hurt in any way. Uh, what about uh, highlights for Iran? I will do this reading with the help of my crystal ball, tarot cards, oracle cards and some dice. Uh, before me here, I have a small map of the country of Iran. And just to make it easier for me to pinpoint out if I see some special events or happenings. Not exactly, but whereabout this could happen in case that comes out. And I never know in advance uh, what kind of information uh, I receive. I also need to mention... I don't, I will not deep dive so much into politics um, and well, just get, just tell you the information that comes out through the crystal ball or the cards. I also would like to, uh, before I begin the reading, just read some short facts about Iran and these facts you can find uh, on on the net you just google short facts on Iran and you can find all kinds of facts. 
uh, I cannot give the whole history back on Iran and a lot of information because that will take many videos. And this is not a history channel or a political channel. This is um, a divination channel. But still, uh, I would read some facts that could be of interest. Just a moment. I put my glasses on and I have the facts written down here. So let's see what I could find. Yeah, Iran has a population over 83 million people and is a country in the Middle East in Western Asia. Uh, most Middle East countries speak Arabic, but in Iran they speak Persian. And it's also called Farsi. One interesting fact of, of Iran about Iran is that Iran's, Iran used their own calendar, which is a solar calendar, meaning that its time reckoning is based on Earth's movement around the sun. And the first day of the year is the first day of spring, and it's called Novruz. Uh, sorry if I don't pronounce uh, the names of places and special things correctly. I don't speak Persian. Uh, yeah. And the first six months have 31 days, and the following five months have 30 days. Mm -hmm. Persia is Iran's old name. And it was in 1935 that Reza Shah, king of Iran, changed the name of the country from Persia to Iran. And Iran means the land of Aryans. And uh, Iran is prone to frequent and violent earthquake activity. Iran co counts among the oldest continuous civilization in the world. Iran has been home to settlements and civilization dating as far back as 4000 BC. And that is according to uh, uh, mainstream archaeological uh, facts. It, what is really the true story, we cannot tell exactly. Mm -hmm. It is said that the famous three wise men were members of the Mag Magag tribe. Uh, the three Bible, Bible characters who brought gifts to the newborn Christ in the nativity story originated from Iran. Mm -hmm. What can we make or say? Iran has one of the biggest gas reserves in the world. The majority of the population of Iran is under 30 years old. And Iran holds a Guinness World Record for the largest hand woven carpet. And Iran is also very famous for the carpets. And uh, Iran borders on the north with Azerbaijan, Armenia and Turkmenistan. In the east by Pakistan and Afghanistan. In the south by Gulf of Oman. And in the west by Turkey and Iraq. So there are a lot of countries uh, on the border to Iran. The capital of Iran is Tehran, that means warm slope. And more than 14 million people live there. Mm. Uh, and it said that Alexander's wife, Alexander the Great, Roxanne, was Iranian, Roxanak in Farsi. Satellite television is banned in Iran, but receiver dishes sit in plain view on top of many houses. Iran is one of the world's biggest producer of luxury foods and has the world's best caviar. The Persian cat is one of the, world, the world's oldest breeds. They originate in, in the high plateaus of Iran where the long silky fur protected them uh, from the cold. And Iran is also famous for its uh, delicious food. Uh, stews and rice and vegetables and the Iran since the Islamic Revolution 1979 wearing hijab is compulsory to all Iranian women and in recent years there have been various protests against this where some larger groups of women have refused to wear hijab however contrary to other Muslim countries where hijab is compulsory 
Iranians usually don't cover all their hair. It also varies from region to region how the law is being enforced. Visa, Visa and MasterCards are not accepted in Iran due to sanctions from the United States. Mm. Iran is home to Zoro, Zoroastrianism, one of the oldest religions in the world. The religion was founded by the prophet Zoroaster in the 6th century BC. And there still live a lot of people uh, belonging to this religion in Iran today. And the majority of the students in universities are females. Despite considerable restrictions for females, which prevents them from joining some university courses, more than 65% of university students in Iran are women. Getting a degree in higher education is very common for Iranian women. And uh, doing thumbs, thumbs up in Iran is really, really rude thing to do. So you should not give t thumbs up when you are in Iran. And Iran is an Islamic country in which Shia, also known as Shiit, Muslims make up the majority. Mm -hmm. Well, that was some short facts about Iran. And there is a lot of, lot of more facts, but um, I think we should begin the reading uh, for the moment. And um, before, I just need to concentrate for a few moments on my crystal ball. And uh, soon we'll begin. Okay? Just give me a few moments. For the country of Iran. Now let's start. Let's see if we can find some information here for Iran. As we know, there is a very serious conflict going on in the Middle East. Uh, with in the, in the Gaza region. I see here um, in Iran a lot of troops will be mobilized and uh, even some kind of m missiles or rockets will be fired from Iran going into that region. Um, there will be some changes in the politics, uh, politic area in Iran. Um, the big um, religious control of the politics in the future will loosen up a little. But still Iran will hold to many of their old traditions and culture. And um, I see a lot of mobilizations, troops along many borders in Iran. And um, there will be the current so-called government in the uh, United States will try to make some kind of negotiations with Iran but it will not be welcomed. And I don't see that the current so-called leadership will um, make any good progress in that area. I see they go there, but they have to return with their head down. They, they cannot come to any agreement.
it looks like in some areas of uh, the border to Afghanistan and Pakistan um, some militaries will gather and like join they will join forces together to continue more uh, yeah not to the east but going up so they will like join together with some common military goal around Isfahan and Qum some area there could be some kind of explosion uh, but I also see earthquakes the, the ground will shake quite quite strongly yeah And in the northern regions, some very strange weather. Extremely much rain could fall. When this earthquake, I don't see it far away. Time is always very difficult to predict on. So uh, even if I make an um, approximate time frame, but it's always very difficult. I get a strong number four around the earthquake. Could be four weeks, four months or the month number four, April. Something with the number four. Uh, probably during next year, some kind of wave, you can call it, against uh, heroin will sweep over uh, the whole of Iran. Could be possible that it will be extremely forbidden, that uh, the Iranian government will strike very hard against anything to do with opium or heroin and like they want to clean out a lot of addiction from Iran in the future I see uh, the female population in Iran one-third without uh, the hijab one third with still the hijab and one third with um, some kind of clothes that covers almost all the body so it will be more of a choice not in a law but you can choose to wear or not wear uh, traditional clothing you know, that covers hair or body So even if it will not be in, written in law that you must wear, uh, many women, uh, women will still continue to wear um, this kind of clothes. It looks like next year, uh, communication with surrounding countries and other countries will uh, grow bigger. Iran's trading and with other countries will also expand and grow. Um, since the BRICS alliance have uh, gained more power, it looks like Iran probably will join the BRICS also. Mm. And that will boost the economy extremely. Because I see uh, on different places in Iran, different towns, 
um, like they blossom, like they get more life, more commerce, money flows more, and people feel more comfortable economic economically. Mm. Some kind of exercise with warships in the Caspian Sea. Mm. And here in the Persian Gulf, outside Kuwait, Bushehr, sorry I cannot pronounce that, I could see some problems with a tank ship. Um, if the tank ship um, leaks oil or it's, if it's hit by something. Mm. So they could be, um, have to look out for strange things around that uh, tank ship so it will not leak a lot of oil in this place. In the future, um, the whole political area will change. I cannot see when in the future, could be one year, two years, three years, four years. It will not be a strict religious um, political leaders, no. It will be more neutral uh, politics, equal for both sexes and both genders. And um, but still, the country will continue to be Muslim country, but a different kind of politics, and more women will join the politic area. There are many extremely beautiful places in Iran to visit and explore. And when the, all the conflicts in the world calm down, because they will come down eventually, and the world will become a peaceful place, and those beautiful places in Iran um, will attract a lot of tourism. And they have so much beauty to offer in culture and nature and things like that. Somewhere around this area, it will be seen very strange phenomena in the sky, like strange shooting stars or strange patterns strange lights in the sky, both daytime and nighttime. And it will be very difficult to explain what it is. And there are a lot of immigrants from Afghanistan in um, Iran. Uh, when Afghanistan becomes a richer and more safe country to live in, a lot of Afghan families and people will return uh, to their home country. And they will like recover some kind of recompensation, some kind of funds will await them there. Okay. Yeah, but as I said, military is mobilizing. Some rockets, miss missiles will be fired. 
uh, unfortunately. Um, I don't see Iran go into um, total war, uh, but they will help out some fellow member countries or fellow countries that they are friends with. Mm -hmm. And at that point, um, Iraq will also somehow join Iran in some mutual goal or a mutual cleanup of something. February, March, March next year, there could be a lot of arrests in Iran. Um, but it, this is not political arrests or, um, yeah, people with different opinion. It's um, arrest due to extreme evilness or extreme criminality. And that will be published in Iran, in the news and so on. I also see probably next year, I'm not so sure, uh, the internet in Iran will not be so restricted. So people will be able to tune in to other countries' news and so on without a VPN. Yeah. Well, that's what I could see in my crystal ball. Let's continue to the cards. First, I need to shuffle a little bit and to see if we can get some additional information for Iran. Some very, very uncomfortable news will be revealed to the Iranian people somewhere next year. Beginning of next year could be springtime, something like that. And that will shock uh, the majority of Iranian population. Ready here, finished. And finally some dice. This was empty, I need another one. And the cards look like this. Well, let's see what we got here in the cards. In the tarot cards, we have the Sun, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, Five of Cups, and Faith. On the Oracle cards, we have Worth Waiting For, Priorities, uh, Self Sabotage, Poverty Consciousness. And then we also have Message. Looks, limbs, blocks, and a lock. And this is a little bit what uh, we talk about. We have the um, 
women here who are blocked um, due to the faith. And there is some kind of poverty in the uh, consciousness that blocks the women um, for the moment. But I see the sun will shine uh, in that area for the women in Iran. And the locks uh, or the limbs will not be blocked symbolically anymore. So there will be more freedom for women in the future. And it will be talked about and it will be welcomed by most women anyway. Maybe not by the, those uh, religious leaders, but for most women it will be welcomed. Uh, so the strict laws or rules uh, will be loosened up in the future. And it will be worth waiting for. Um, that will also help the country to blossom, real blossom. Mm -hmm. Well, that what was... This was what the card wanted to say. I'm going to take some more cards to see if there are any more info that is of importance. I will just take some extra cards here on Iran. If there is any more information that is important to be said through the cards. And this comes again, we have the Eight of Wands, King of Wands, the Devil, Nine of Wands, Justice and Two of Wands. So a lot of, lot of work um, or a lot of effort will be put in to uh, chase people that are uh, very evil criminals, drug dealers, drug lords um, and things like that. And it will be like a common goal for, for the population of Iran. Uh, everyone together will make that effort. Mm. And it will be like tribunals, some very hard work to catch some evil criminals, some evil people, clean the country out from those. Yeah. Well, it seems like the cards are only repeating what I saw in the crystal ball. So um, let's take some final cards for the country of Iran. Uh, some last words for this video. Some last words for Iran. Here we have Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, the Sun, Two of Coins, and King of Cups. Um, yeah, it looks like the women have waiting, waited a long time uh, to be treated equal uh, as the men. And the sun is on that energy. In the future, new laws, some big changes are waiting ahead for um, 
the female population in Iran. The, the rules will come become more fair, more equal. Um, well, men and women are different, but still uh, they will be treated equal uh, in law and on all other areas in life. Yeah. And that will also give so much positive energy to the country and help the country to grow and um, really, really develop uh, in a more loving and caring direction. Mm -hmm. Well, that was what I could see for Highlights, highlights Iran. And to all of you beautiful and warm-hearted Iranian people, stay strong, stay together. Um, beautiful times are coming for your country. And um, miracles um, will happen in many places. And to the rest of your viewers, thank you so much for watching. Stay strong out there. Uh, stay together. Since uh, we are going through very turbulent times and things are going to get worse before it gets better. Don't lose hope. Um, if we are, if we continue to uh, have a positive uh, vision of the future, uh, things will change for the better. Remember what we think of, we create. Uh, and it's like that. Whatever we focus on, we call upon our door. So stay positive, but stay strong. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. Take care out there and hopefully we're going to see each other soon. Bye bye. Thank you.